Hello, this is Marcus, and in this tutorial, we are learning how to do cards. In this example, we have this full card, this card without icon and label, this card without icon, label, and uh, text, and this last one only with link, image, and container. Right. Um, and then we have this application, this example, this screen where it's possible to see that we have cards here and selecting the two of them, if I scroll, it's possible to demonstrate the mask, so the way the cards appear, you know, um, scrolling down and scrolling up. So um, let's go, let's do the card. Let's uh, select this first one. I want to have more space. So I will press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I duplicate it. I will move to some place that you know I, I have this free space. And before we start, I want to show you the atomic design. If you watch my uh, tutorials, you know that I really like to approach this uh, concept. So here we have the card. It's like broken in many many small pieces right so we have the container shadow photo icon label um, shape title text link one and link two right all of then all the elements are separate and then here in the molecules I started uh, drawing things putting things together many atoms they make molecules so here we have shadow, container, and uh, photo. Here we have this shape, this background, and this title, this label. Here, text and label. Link one and link two in the right position. And this icon, we, we can't set and assemble together. So, And then when we join many uh, molecules, we have organisms. So we have one organism another organism and another organism right organism it's hard to pronounce organism <laughs> and then after that we have templates right these templates they can be components where we have all the cards all the anatom but we don't have real information they are templates when we take our templates and we fill them with real information, real data, we have pages like here. Real photo, good trip, best destinations, book here, your next trip, details, book now, right? So we are going to do that. And I, I placed it here, it's kind of new in my process, the tutorials I'm recording for you guys. We have some variations, right? So we have the full card. We have this card um, without label, right? Label here. Here we don't have this label. Uh, we have this example with no label and no title. And this example with no label, no title, and no text, for instance. So we have we can have some variations of the card, right? And now it's time to diggy to put our hands and do our craft, right? Okay, if I press Shift 2, I can zoom in the selection. So, to do that, um, we will press R and draw something like this. Now, I will press Ctrl backslash to show all my um, bars and so. Here, I will press V and in the inspector panel we have the width and the height it's gonna be 272 by 272 so I will click here to constrain 272 and the other one is constrained so they will be the same right the color of this container is white right it has uh, border radius 8 it has a, a drop shadow so we just need to click here effects 
drop shadow. We can click here in this little sum effect settings. We can set like 24 and here something like H. I don't know. Yeah, just good. Okay, next thing we need to have is a photo. So we go to the YouTube. Here is my channel. You know, I'm pretty uh sure that you are familiar with that you just need to go to my uh, channel right so you will see this name is a uh, temporary i don't know if i will follow with this name hands-on design perhaps yes just a, a motorcycle passing by here on my street i'm sorry about that and thank you for the 22 uh subscriptions we have here uh you can go here videos so you can see all the videos i'm publishing I, we have actually 11 videos of um, ui design in figma we are focusing on uh, material design right but before like six years ago i was working as a 3d designer and i used to do um 3d stuff and tutorials and my english was awful nowadays my english isn't that good one but before that was really a, a miserable uh depressing and you know horrible <laughs> but i used to do things because that was a good uh thing to help people that were uh, just learning starting in the 3d world and i would like to improve my english as well so i thought that it could be a good idea to join to put together the two things in the same pot you know so go to my videos if you want to see playlists we have here this ux ui tutorial so you can open it here and then you will have like in order from the oldest to the newest so you can go like in order watch all, watch all of them each one uh, is about one hour yeah in medium one hour perhaps a little less a little more but you know and i'm explaining many things in each tutorial i try to approach one uh, component let's say this way one element in the first one navig android navigation bar second one app bar third one nav navigation drawer and so on so forth so let's go to our photo i will type trips something like this I will search for images in Portuguese. Trip trips mean uh, mean uh, means viagens. Uh, yeah, um, some photo. Perhaps this one here will fit well. I will copy this image. I will come back to Figma. So now we need to um, duplicate this container to have our photo so you will understand what i'm doing i select all the elements all the cards and i press shift 2 to zoom in so here this one will be our uh, mask right i will select and i will press ctrl v or command v so the photo was placed into this shape so it's a mask now I will remove this drop shadow from this mask just to be right I will click twice here right then I can click here and select crop I can see the other parts of the photo and I can move like this you know my mask will be like this and I can even uh, press I can click out twice if I move my, my mouse scroll, I will move in this direction. If I press and hold shift, I will move in this direction, right? Cool. So I will click twice. I can do some adjustments. I will press shift here and I will fit a little better my image, right? Just a little better to, to have more parts of the photo on my design. When I am done, I click twice out of the photo and then it will be just like this. Now I can click here and I can position this way. When I see these horizontal red lines, they are guiding me to say that I am in the right way. The same goes for uh, the horizontal lines. So 
it's aligned or even I could select both of them click here I align it vertically and horizontally but after I, I have to move like this no matter uh, it's slightly different so I can click twice here and I can move up just a little bit to be as closer as possible right then um, I will go go look for this uh, heart icon let me see where I draw that bottom sheet walk through and I am expecting that you um, watched my past videos my past tutorials so you can have the same amount of pages that I have here all the tutorials they are here you know page by page so you can go and take uh, a small elements to reuse to save time so we have this black icon here I will press ctrl C I will come back to this file name it card right I created this page and you will do the same I will paste it here the icon size will be 40 so I will select it here I will lock this chain and I will type so both of them width and height will be 40 now we just need to place it here right and let me see the distance I will click twice 16 and 16 right and top same one here just using my arrows in my keyboard perfect the color I need to change so black will be white but the white uh, on this light gray map doesn't make sense that could be a good idea clicking twice and having some uh, shadow as well so now you can see it's possible to see the heart I will click again this shadow is too much I will type like 16 8 let's see yes better and perhaps some stroke but not black uh, perhaps some gray something like this yeah okay fair enough and now uh, it's our to have this this shape and it's important to name our elements this one will be our photo because the photo, even though the photo is like cropped, but uh, the mask is, is still here. So I can't like click in this white area without selecting the photo. When I need to select the rectangle, this container, I need to come here in the layer panel, right? Container will be the name. I favorite icon it's okay already we are reusing then uh, we will draw some rectangle like this and the width will be 272 right the color is gonna be black with 32 for instance of uh, opacity press V and move it here okay align it now we need to have this label uh, I will press T click here I will type label right enter will be Roboto size 16 I think so color white good we will place it here uh, we will measure here 16 it's okay it's not right here you can see you know we need to put it down a little uh, 16 as well here so 16 bottom 16 left 16 right so it needs to be less one pixel we see now 16 16 16 great and now the other side it worth to be 16 to I will move I will drag this to here when I see these little red crosses you know it snaps and I will type here less 16 
and now it will be right. I can measure all of them are 16. Because now, if I need to type uh, a large label, you know, it will be still 16, right? Good. Uh, let me see which more we have here that worth to talk about. Uh, perhaps 16 isn't good, perhaps 8 will be great, you know? Just 8. We can uh, have more we can use, we can make better use of the spaces. One pixel less. Yes, pretty good. So now we have top eight, bottom eight, left 16, right 16. Just good. Now we will duplicate this one here. The color will be uh, black. Um, text size 18 and I will ha have this bold one I will change the reference it's not bold but but now I want to have a bold one I will measure it here it's gonna be 16 to you know how to to do that so 16 top 16 left 16 right that's just great I will duplicate one more time it's gonna be 8 the distance between the label the I'm sorry title here and text here and also it's gonna be 16 you know and the color I will use a light dark a gray light gray something like this yeah so it's consistent 16 by 16 by 16 8 16 16 you know we use this uh, eight, 8 pixels grid, 8 pixels grid, it's a good one. And now finally we are gonna have the link 1 and link 2, just type link 1, Control B for bold, auto width, color, we can click here to pick up some color from here you know to be consistent part of the brain perhaps something like this yeah perhaps maybe in this case i use it uh this orange because the car is orange right now i will duplicate the just pressing out clicking clicking and dragging it's gonna be link to Cool. Now we need to have the same, a good distance, just like this one. And we will press and hold shift, select both of them. It's a problem because when I will place my text here, I will need to adjust it all the time, right? But there is a good thing on Figma, I will select both of them for it it's a good distance we have this auto layout here right selecting the two of them we have this auto layout we need to have at least two items selected here in the um, layer panel we will name it as links we have link one and link two and now when I type they will accommodate they will flow uh, with the same distance right for it the distance we set before so it's a good idea having using auto layout we are using auto layout for horizontal things but that could be like vertical as well right so i could have text this way and pressing enter i could have 40 here too it's not the case so let's uh, come back to uh, horizontal perfect Okay, and the distance here, from here to here, it's gonna be 16? I don't know, let's check, 16, yes, why not? The important thing is to be um, 8 pixels grid, 80 pixels grid, 80, 16, 24, all of them are good enough. Let's see... 
yeah, 8, 22, yeah. I will do this. Um, I will reduce a little the container container uh, height, you know, just to fit properly. I could increase as well. Increase is, perhaps is better, just two points. 24, perfect. And I will click twice on the image and I will increase it here too, one, two. It didn't went didn't go well because I it was locked proportionally so I unlock it one two perfect I can lock again so we have all the things we need don't care about this um, word here links when I render that when I save that when I do prototype doesn't matter it doesn't appear right so don't be concerned okay perfect so we we have our element we will now select we will press Ctrl G. All the elements are well. This rectangle, let's call shape. Now it's better. Container, photo. We have this favorite icon, right? We have shape, label, title, texts. And we have links, link one and link two. Just perfect. This card we will call like this card slash full because we will have more types of cards like we saw before. Let's delete this one. Let's drag this one here. <clears throat> Let's see. So we have this one, right? We will press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, move. This one here, we don't have this icon, right? And we don't have this label over here. So let's delete. And the group name, it will be, for instance, card. Um, no icon. Uh, no label. We can think uh, about better naming, but for a while, just to understand, it's, it's good. Now, let's duplicate again. We can press Ctrl C, Ctrl V again move this one now we don't have text anymore right we need to delete and we need to adjust like 16 right or 8 let me verify 8 it's better so 8 and we need to adjust here as well and first the container right can measure like a little less so 16 no 24 actually right 24 good and the photo as well let's see the container can you see the the mask that is uh, cutting the photo so we need to have the same size Container is two for seven height, so the photo has to be the same. Click twice. I forgot two for seven, two for seven, but I have to click here. Yeah, again, two for seven, mm, or perhaps just manually, you know and when it snaps it's okay click twice again so we have all uh not all we need to have one more so let's uh it, the name is important to here no icon no label and here no icon no label and no text let's see not not the the, the better name but no icon no label plus no then we can change, you know, it's not a big deal for now. So let's duplicate again. Oops. Removing this title. Adjusting, right? That's worth to have this shape here. I can select there, paste here. Now I can see the distance. 
I should adjust here. Oops. Perhaps it's wrong there too. Let's see. Much probably. I need to select this and this. One pixel down. And here I have the distance to be consistent. 44, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pressing out to see the distance, right? And now we just go. Yeah. 16. Perfect. Brilliant. Let's mm, move it here. 24. 1, 2, 3, 4. Done. Photo. Click twice. Just move it here. Snapped. Great. So. Uh, no text. No icon. No label. No text. No title. Just contextual, right? And now the importance of naming things properly. So I will select all of those cards we just created. I will move them here. I will press Shift 2 to zoom in, right? Select the first one, click here to create a component. Do the same thing here create a component, create a component, and create this one. I will delete this link to here. And now create a component. So we have many components, right? So component is good because this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, they are master component, which means uh, they should be used only to master the instances. So, Marcus, how does that work? I will copy and paste this one here. So you can see here, if I select uh, this master component, you can see it has four filled diamonds, right? And here it has one unfilled diamond. It means it's an instance, right? Here we have a an instance. Here a component, a master. Here an instance. What's the difference? The difference is I can have many instances, right? But the, the master components controls all of them. So let's put this way. Master is on top. And here I have the instances. They are all in the same page, right? If I decide this color is going to be orange, all the instances will have orange color. This is the beauty of working with components. If I decided the title will be a little uh, bigger, you can see all the titles they are changing to, right? If I change a photo, if I replace something, doesn't matter. This little heart here, let's suppose it's gonna be, I don't know, yellow for instance. You can see all of them change as well. White, black, yellow. So. This is the beauty of working with components, right? Things that I change in my component, they will be changed in the instances, right? So uh, master is important for this reason. Uh, the masters, they, they have to be in a separate place, like I will show you in a few seconds. I will select all of the masters. I will cut them, Ctrl X. And here I have a page. If you don't know, you can create just clicking here, naming it as components or symbols, doesn't matter. Then paste them in here. So I have some of them here. After I will do this beauty, beautiful uh, folder here, rename. Okay, but the, the case is I have them here. If I have my master here, I don't, I, I don't click anymore. I don't use my masters. Only if I want to do that, you know. For example, I can delete uh, this copy here, right? And when I need to add a component, see, we name it like card slash something slash something because they will be here in assets. We normally work in this section named layers, but we have the assets. So I can open the assets and see my four cards. I can just drag and drop here, right? 
shift to to zoom in and I can see my component here and we use it slashes to name the components this is good because I can click here and just change you know click again I have four components change again and just click here and change again you know I have no icon no label blah 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 and I said that we could change the components name if we click here in this uh, four field uh, diamonds I go to the main components and here I can uh, click here layers and I can change the components name for instance so we have a here this component full I could call for instance card 001 if that's good to me now I could have card 002 or a card 003 and the last one is gonna be card little little four little you know zero zero card zero oh, I, I thought one thing and I said another thing zero zero four right I can come back to uh, <clears throat> to my page named card right and here I can see now the numbers it's easier so I have zero one zero two zero three zero four you know just easy to change I just need to select the component and I change that as easy as that right but it, it has some inconsistency I saw the first one the links are uh, orange right but here they are not orange anymore so I, I need to go to the master main components I can click here and go to the main components right I can come here components and go to the page too there are many ways to, to go there I will let's see copy this color from here I will paste the color here I will do the same in all links orange right this one too uh, here good and here uh, I don't need to have this uh, this shape here so I will delete just here right um, if I want to have for instance the heart over here I could have the heart here why not it's here now and when I come back to my page name it cards and I can change again like okay I will use the number one I can use the number two the number three number two has now this uh, heart the number three doesn't and the number four doesn't right so that's it we have all our uh, components our cards really uh, cool so I recommend you to do something that is really important this is uh, the instance of one of my cards let's have the first one it's more complete so we need to click here right button detach instance so we can separate all the parts of our uh, components you know I really really recommend you to do this exercise you know to organize better your thoughts as a designer it's really important so you can have all your <clears throat> here I, I, I need to click twice I will ungroup it's good Control shift G for ungroup so I can move here you know and moving things here putting them like side by side like I did here you know you you have more free time organize your information this way have atoms have molecules have organisms have templates and have pages and have variations like I showed you you know uh, document these things you know you can dedicate one page just to document all your designs it, it's good it's brilliant it's a awesome idea 
and I want to show what I did in the last tutorial. Um, we finish it up here with these buttons, you know. See, we did together the atoms, we did molecules, we did organisms, we did templates, we did this one, two, right? This approach. And after that, in the backstage of the class, I recommend you to do that. I taught you in the very beginning, in the first tutorial, tutorials, I think so, how to do this spacing system, how to document each element like background, status bar, cover, navigation bar, you know, all the tails, width, height, color, uh, corner, uh, border radius, icons, you know. You just need to step back and watch uh, past t tutorials, past tutorials I did before, you know, it's gonna be good for you. I really think so. And oh, I broke my card, right? To do these atoms, molecules, and so on, and then to document, document your things. But if you need to uh, add this component again, you just need to click here. Normally, we are in uh, this, this section, layers. Click in assets, open here this card sections, drag and drop, you know. Then we can duplicate like Ctrl C, Ctrl V, for instance. Duplicate four more times. We see, yeah. And here I can just change, like having the second one, here having the third one, and here having the fourth one. This way, or even dragging and drop. You know, this way too. There are many ways to do that. And this video is over. I think that we are done here. We um, wrap it up all the things we wanted to cover by now. And I appreciate your company. I'm doing these tutorials. The last one I recorded, that was three months ago. Yeah, I'm so uh, too busy by now, but my expectation is to record more tutorials i will try to do that because i like and i believe that in some place somehow someone is being benefited by that so hope to see you in the next one and bye